Seeing all the stories from India and a surprising move just weeks before national polls. Election Commissioner Arun Goyal has resigned. The poll body already had a vacancy and will now be left only with Chief Election Commissioner Rajiv Kumar. Goyal repeatedly cited personal reasons while resigning, adding that the government tried to persuade him not to quit, but he insisted. Goyal, a 1985 batch Indian Administrative Service officer, had taken voluntary retirement on November 18, 2022. He was then appointed election commissioner a day later. Members of the opposition were quick to react to the resignation. TMC leader Mahua Moitra and MP Saket Gokhale said that it was concerning that two appointments are to be made to the poll panel ahead of the elections in India. The Congress too expressed deep concern over Goel's resignation and said that if the systematic decimation of independent institution is not stopped, the democracy shall be usurped by dictatorship. Under the new Chief Election Commissioner and other Election Commissioners Act, the central government can now appoint two election commissioners before the Lok Sabha elections. Six individuals will be involved in the procedure. There will be members of the government and two employed by the government. The selection procedure consists two committees, a three-member search committee led by the law minister and also two government secretaries and a three-member selection committee headed by the prime minister, consisting of a union minister recommended by the prime minister and the leader of opposition. The search committee will recommend five names to the selection committee, but the latter is empowered to select commissioners from outside. The chief election commissioner or election commissioner will then get appointed by the president of India.